Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. Uh, so this this is a thing. Uh, I was out drinking last week, and um, a friend of mine sent me this. <laughs> um, she was uh, apparently quite shocked, as was I, to discover that somebody has made a game called Epstein. And... Um, uh, well, let me just read you the blurb, shall we? Survive a mysterious island and thwart the sinister plan of Jeffrey in Epstein. Battle the blood-dependent Morbiters and forge alliances with other survivors to confront Jeffrey in his Grand Temple. Master survival tactics and strategic gameplay in this intense adventure. The game is made by Galaxyverse, and uh, at the time when I bought this, uh, it cost me £6.80. Now, <laughs> uh, this thing looks like a massive asset flip, and uh, I'm probably going to refund it after I've played not gonna lie unless the gameplay is fantastic which i don't know man i'm i'm kind of dubious it has a mixed rating on steam some people say it's kind of all right for what it is and other people you know mess mentioned that it's just asset flip garbage what will our opinion be well we're gonna have to try it first so about this game, Epstein. Type, survival adventure. Description. Um, in Epstein Island, players prepare for a mysterious and dangerous survival, an exploration journey on an island. They uncover dark secrets and have perilous missions by defeating various creatures on Epstein Island. Reach the mini-bosses. There will be three mini-bosses on the island. We're learning this together, by the way. Uh, I haven't read this prior <laughs> to, you know, buying and downloading. I was just stunned <laughs> at such a creation. Um, yeah, so each located in a different region and dropping different items it's very poorly written the first mini boss is clinton oh no clinton the second mini boss is hawk Hav king obviously hawkins you know going around his little wheelchair up to no good and the third mini boss is minwell I don't know who that is. I'm not. I know there was like loads of celebrities that went to the island to. Well, you know, um, yeah. So I don't know who Minwell is, but yeah, I'm guessing the first boss is Clinton. Second mini boss is Hawkins. After defeating these individuals and gaining strength, you need to defeat the final boss, Jeffrey. He rules over the island. However, be careful and improve your base with your friends. So it's multiplayer as well. On the island and launch attacks. Find the magic elements in this, in the hidden areas of the island and use them. MJ's found within the island. MJ's. Found, I don't know what an MJ is. Found within the island will assist you. Seek their help instead of trying to harm them, as they will be your allies. Build and upgrade your base. Strengthen yourself on the island by building your own base. Enhance your home and character with new weapons and mechanics you learn, becoming even stronger. AI-generated content. Ah, so... Um, yeah, I, I don't know what exactly we are getting ourselves into here. I'm guessing uh, it's some sort of crafting survival thing like Power World or Ark or uh, the forest, that sort of dealio. Uh, let's just jump in, shall we? So... 
we have our <laughs> survive, sub survivor uh, characteristics. So we've got two points which we can drop into our ability. Affects critical damage chance. Affects damage dealt to trees. Damage. I'm. I'm sorry. It's, oh Jesus Christ. Okay, so affects damage dealt to trees and mines. What are mines? What land mines? What what sort of mines are we talking about? Jeffrey, what is on your island? And do we need to know? Affects maximum health and health regeneration. Pro probably gonna want some stamina. Agility. Affects critical hit and armor penetration. Alright, I could say no. Uh, affects your base damage and max weight. Okay. Well, we'll... I mean, logic is telling me we want as much stamina as possible, but whatever. All right, let's have a little look at some of these hair types that we can have. Oh, dear. I mean, can we not, like, zoom in on our character to have a little look? I guess not. All right, let's go with the ponytail, because why not? So the hair color kind of doesn't really do an awful lot of much. Pants color. Again, very, very few shades. I mean, let's, let's go for some fancy. Do we have, I mean, you know, that's not bad, is it? Uh, skin color. Oh, good God, you know? Yep, that's fine. Now difficulty. Why, how does this change the difficulty level? Because we're holding a stone. They were holding a bow. Uh, oh, so Survivor, Corsair, and an Archer. Ah, uh, does it matter? I don't know. Whatever. Let's just go for this, shall we? This is going to be a shit show anyway, so let's not kill ourselves. And my cat has jumped on top of my desk. Leo, I've been having this conversation with you most of the morning. Right, so here we are on Epstein's Island, and what a fine, mighty island it is. What is this chicken scratch doing? Oh boy, so active quests, make your first hatchet. Well, if you are gonna ask me so nicely, let's go and investigate. Oh, geez, oh, we're sorry, but there are no Pokemon on this island. Yes, well, that's good, because, you know, Molesting women and children is, is bad enough without molesting imaginary pocket monsters. If you have any suggestions for expanding the content with major updates, please mention them in the community. We'll take care of it. Excellent. Good. Good. Active development. That's what we like. And what in the fucking Silent Hill, Jesus, is that? Uh, I guess it's a note. Is this one of Epstein's commandments? Okay, so, all right. Oh, you know what? This this character menu doesn't look quite as ghastly as I would have thought. Um, so, stone hatchet. Wait, so do we not need, like, a crafting table then? Building plan. This takes fiber. I guess we don't have any of that stuff. Right. This game is in the development phase. So if you have any suggestions, please don't. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe found in the game. Oh, assets may be found in the game. It is not a secret. We've done our best to make the game enjoyable. It's not the best game in the world, but good. I mean, look, hey. Fair enough, right? Improve your base. Uh, improve yourself and your base with your friends on Epstein Island. And defeat the evil bosses. Defeating them repeatedly. Oh. Have a great time. Well, thank you. Um, I don't really want to defeat, defeat them repeatedly. Surely, you know, if you do a good enough job, Mr. Wheelchair Man is not going to be coming back, is he? And this looks a little bit awkward. Why have I built my house right on a beach? That seems rather unwise. I also don't know if I can get out of this water. Probably not. I mean, hey, at least we can get off the island, right? Okay, that's fine. Um, we're back in the water again. 
<laughs> what are these animations? Oh my god, I feel like I'm playing like a Play-Doh character here. Jesus. Okay, this looks a little bit more promising. And we have... Ooh, there's booty. I mean, of course there's booty on Epstein's Island. I mean, obviously, right? Um... Oh, okay, so we don't need to make stone hatchets and things, and we have some fiber. Fiber's good for you, you know? Okay, and I guess we need to drag these down into our bar a little bit something like that. Sure. Let's roll that. Right, let's harvest up some resources. There's also another tablet here. Why do we have two of these? All right, whatever. Hey, heroes. First, establish a base on the island, ruled by these diseased bosses, and progress. We'll leave notes around to help you. The tasks you see on the screen will take you to the end of the game. There are four bosses in various places on the map. That govern... Govern? This disgusting island... Defeat the final boss, Jeffrey, and complete the tasks in order. You may find funny items and references inside. Good luck. We are with you. Oh, my. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I hope they're not too close with me. Boss, this... What the fuck is that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm... I mean, the game's well optimized. We're running at a decent frame rate, which is nice. Can we catch, like, the fish or anything? Now, I, oh, we can go underwater. All right, can we catch some fish? All right, it's a survival game, right? We should be able to, like, you know, grab fish and that sort of thing. Unless we need a fishing rod, which is quite possible. I'm not sure what we can do with this treasure chest over here. Right, we need to gather wood. Fine. But, oh, E, open crate. Yeah, we've already harvested that. I am a fool. Can I chop this tree down? Apparently I can. Um, are we taking damage? No, that's the tree. The tree is definitely taking damage. Right, let's go grab some sticks and some logs. And wait, that was six wood. We need thirty. All right, this is going to be a bit of a bit of a long hog. I will come back when I have harvested the wood. Oh, coconuts. I guess. Are they? We... Okay, so it says, like, E to pick things up. Uh, oh. I guess this is fiber. We had some fiber. All right. Actually, relatively difficult to pick things up. Well, that's everything there was on this island. Can we smash this boat up? Possibly... Alright, whatever. I'll be back once I've got the materials. Right, I've got another tablet here. Does this actually tell us anything new? No. It kind of feels like we're becoming extremely sunburnt. <laughs> it is just our Play-Doh man uh, roasting in the sun. Uh, this is bad. Hey, pal. All right, I don't think he cares. Not going to lie, I did panic just a little bit when I saw those guys, but looks like they didn't care. Hey, we picked up a crab as well. Ideal. Here, crabby. Come here, you little fucker. There we go. Stick you in my pocket. Pretty sure Jeffrey's done that to a variety of different things in his time. Okay, so. Back to chopping wood. Oh, there is a human? That is not a human. What the fuck is that? That's a blue Andrew. The fuck is a blue Andrew? All right. Let's do this thing. Come on, you sack of shit. He looks like a merman or something. Maybe. Just maybe. The rock does more damage. No, the rock does less damage. That's no good. All right. <laughs> this is thrilling combat, guys. Thrilling combat of the likes you have never seen. Still, we have killed the blue Andrew and got ourselves some XP. Uh, yeah, I mean, 
Sure, I guess. What the hell? Could we like... I don't know if we can like cut this fella up for some meat. I guess not. All right, let's continue getting some wood and some coconuts. I'm guessing if we eat food, that's just gonna, you know, heal us as well as fill up our food bar. Right, so we seem to be getting a little bit of fiber from the trees, which I didn't realize. Oh no, that's a palm leaf. Can we turn that into fiber? Who knows? Anything's possible on Jeffrey's Island. Okay, now it's time to gather some rocks. Hooray. I like gathering rocks. Can we gather them from this big rock? Uh, not looking very likely. All right, let's go investigate this house. Oh, hello. Evening. Anybody home? Not quite sure why stepping in here made the place explode. Is that Jeffrey's magic trick? Where he disappears into a puff of smoke. Uh, smoke. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh dear. No, maybe it's Steven's uh, magic trick. Yes, he dis disappears into a puff of smoke whenever the authorities arrive. Okay. Uh, pick up the note. Go on, what have we got here? If you want to place this disgusting chair in your house, you'll need to kill Harving. Or Havking. Ha Havking. You'll find out what to do with this chair later. Well, okay. All right. Well, I'm I'm guessing maybe later we can ride the chair. Sure. What the hell is that? Is that Ah, right. Okay, so this is stone. Okay, I actually quite like those effects. <laughs> I mean, physics, right? We are in the world of tomorrow and all that. You know, when I was in school, I couldn't even imagine playing games. You know, this kind of visual fidelity. What? There's a chicken. And what is that chasing a chicken? Evening. Hello there, sir. That is a mini hawk. <laughs> Wait, a mini hawk? Okay, he had loot. Killing Hawkins' small clone may not be sufficient, but uh, we need to find the real one. However, defeating um, Hawkins with a single punch is enjoyable. I mean, killing anything with a single punch is enjoyable. Come here, hen. Come on. Allow me to kill you. Oh, come on. There's no way there is... Well, I mean, I guess he's allowing me to kill him. You can feed the hen. But surely we need to extract meat from the hen. I have no idea what's going on here. All right, whatever. Wait, there's more things. There's another miniature hawking. Come here, you little shit. There you go. <laughs> what? What? Why? Why does he have a bone leg? Oh, God. Okay. Can we do anything with the bone leg? We can. What is it? It's a weapon. Excellent. We need a weapon. Um, harvesting resources. So I guess we're going to want that in a hot bar. So we've got some flint. We've got some iron ore. Because of course we do. Um, oh, spoiled crab meat. Ah, that's no good. Bastards. So our meat actually spoils over time. All right, who's over here? That's the hen. Okay. Now, uh, we're fine. I think we're fine. Um, now it's time to gather some rocks. Do we still need to gather rocks? All right. All right, so gathering rocks, I have discovered this gentleman... Seeds man. Oh, he's a skeleton. Okay. Evening. Oh, we can talk to this dude. What do you want, human? Start trade. 
So this guy's got beet seeds. He's trading for coins, though. All right, so we have 30 coins. I guess we can just, like, sell him shit. We sell you like that? Oh, fuck. Someone's got a gun. All right, so there's people that we can trade with. And what the hell is going on now? I don't even know what that is. Uh, yeah, good question. You found a note. Press the J key. Welcome to the mysterious and dangerous... Yeah, huh? Right, that's just the main blurb of the game. Another rooster. What the hell is this? This is like another shop that we go to. There's another hen here. Ah, right. So it looks like we can only harvest. Yeah, we can only harvest stones from these sort of things. Which makes me think like every kind of resource that we can harvest, at least so far, is finite. I'm guessing this sort of stuff respawns after a while, but I don't know. Anyway, we're having fun on Epstein's Island, which is not what could be said for a lot of people. So now we need to gather fiber from flowers. Now, this is the thing that... I, oh, fuck me. Come here, you old bastard. All right, you're being munched straight away. All right, let's start working on our hunger, shall we? All right, so that's not exactly quick, the way that happens. Oh, that puts our water down. Because eating, apparently, um, makes us thirsty, which, fine, I guess. So how do we get water? Because we're now dying of thirst, which ain't great, let's be honest. Now, can we break this open? No. I'm guessing we can't drink seawater. That wouldn't be wise. We're actually dying now as well. Oh, there's more people over here. Right. We really have to concentrate. Oh, there's flowers here. I think. Like, I don't know how. Ah, oh, they're enemies. Strange. All right. Well, let's start to work on these guys because these give us XP, apparently. Oh, fucking hell. He's hard. Harder than Epstein in a playground. All right, come here, you. I'll have you. Yeah, this is going particularly badly. Right, I don't know where to get war. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's get out of here. You know what? Maybe this game could actually be some amount of fun. Uh, multiplayer. Trouble is, I'm now being chased by these dickheads. Uh, oh, I'm dead. That's great. So if I respawn, it takes us back. Oh, okay, so this chicken scratch here must be. Yeah, this must be our standard spawn location. I don't know whether we're going to be able to move that. I'm guessing maybe. Okay. I mean, I don't know about this one, guys. I'll be honest. I'm not really sure what to think. Uh, I, well, that actually gave us some distance, didn't it? Oh, nice. It's more fiber. Now, can we get our bag back? Oh, hello. What does this say? If you want to place, yeah, we know. There's a lot of... Re Hello. Oh, that's an MJ. Hello, stranger. The developers added me to help you on this dreadful island. You want me to assist you? I'm better off. Uh, I'm better than the islanders. I'm programmed to have your back till the end. An NPC that knows it's an NPC. Interesting. Yes, I'll be happy. 
The developers say if we complete the tasks, yeah, we. Wait, what? Right, X. Okay, this is. Yeah, they need a. They need somebody to proofread this. Um, X to command the soldier. Right, so I guess if we push X, we can command him to do whatever we're you know aimed at, like harvest, kill, that sort of thing, and C to call him back. All right. Um, and we have a blacksmith as well. Not sure. Okay, so I guess we can sell everything. We get like metal tools, we get a sword. I get the feeling like a sword would probably be good, but we've only got 30 coins. All right, furnace, alchemy, alchemical cauldron. I mean, there's definitely like an actual proper game here. Sort of. Ah, shit. All right, that's fine. Now, I don't know where my MJ is. And there's the dick bag that killed me. Where's my MJ? Right, we know we can handle that prick anyway. Let's see if we can get our soldier back into the action. Now, oh, there's a pig. Oh, a bit of bacon. Very nice. Where's the MJ? Is he just... Okay, the controls are... Locking up a little bit here. Where? Wait. Okay, so I'm trying to summon the soldier. There he is. Okay. Right, come on, you. Let's go take this guy out, if we can. Unless my MJ just gets, like, completely annihilated in one shot, which uh, I'm not going to rule out, let's be honest. He's actually already injured somehow. Is he injured from fighting the chicken? Right, give me that. Right, so I'm guessing, because I died around here, didn't I? Ah. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say, where did that little bastard go? There he is. Right, come on, MJ. Kill him. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we lost our leg. Now, he's got a hell of a reload on that thing, but he died pretty quick. All right, this MJ's means business. So, oh, that's 18 damage. This is 10, that's 10. Right. So let's, what's that do? This is five damage. It's like literally pointless. Cool. So that's a mortar where we can grind stuff down. Starfish, I don't know what that does. And we can eat that. That actually gives us some thirst. Right, so that minuses 25 thirst. No wonder that was really not worth eating. All right, that's fine. Let's go kill some more of these dudes. Now we know. Oh, yeah, that. There yeah, we go. That's what we're talking about does way more damage ow we kind of can't take many hits though which is worth knowing son of a bitch let mj keep your distance mate because he's literally getting right up oh we got lock picks we got money all right i mean i kind of rather this game didn't have all the base building stuff because that's going to make it kind of difficult to, you know, do some sort of uh, preview in an hour or less. We got a fishing rod here. Ooh. How does a fishing rod work? Okay. No, seriously, how does the fishing rod work? Is it even a thing? Right, I'm guessing... This must be an area for spawning enemies, I guess. But can you leave the chicken alone, please, mate? My chicken! 
So there must... Oh, look, he's back. <laughs> he's trying to attack the chicken. So we can block. Curious. Oh, new weapon. New weapon. Water jar. Can be used in hot bar. Quenches thirst. Used in crafting. Nice. So that is something that we actually needed. Now, where'd that other guy go? Now, I don't know how our MJ gets his health back. But we're going to... Nice. This MJ, man. He's the real MVP. Ah, hello. So how much health... Or how much do we need, I should say, to level up? Oh, did the MJ actually shoot us? Bastard. The trouble is, now if we respawn, we're going to lose everything that we've already got. Um, I'm not sure about this one, guys, I'll be honest. Like, I mean, I bought it for a joke, but I don't know, man. I think there could possibly be a game here somewhere. You know, if you really dig deep. I don't think the map is going to be that big, to be honest with you. Which actually works in its favor. All right. If we've lost everything and we have to start again, that's kind of going to suck. At least our friend is still there. I'm going to assume, like, if we get, you know, a couple of these guys... We're going to be borderline overpowered. Okay, so we can get all of our gear back. That's kind of nice. Um, right, let's get out of here because this looks like where enemies are just constantly spawning. And we're going to see if we can actually like level our character up. I'm assuming we've got at least one level, right? Because we did kill quite a few enemies there. And usually, to level up the first time doesn't take a huge amount of XP. So. Oh, we got a map. Actually, an interesting map, because it shows you like all the enemies and stuff. We cannot appear... Yeah, we can scroll the map. How interesting. Yeah, the island. <laughs> I guess that's... Where Jeffrey hangs out. Yeah, the island isn't that big, which does lead me to wonder how big this game actually is. Maybe we could complete it in a few attempts once we get to grips with everything. Um, not sure what all these different... things are on the map all right i mean sure this looks bad like not bad i guess i was expecting some shit but yeah i kind of actually want to sit here and play this and see if i can complete it uh, that's obviously beyond the scope of this video but i mean who knows right Maybe at some point in the future, we'll return to Epstein's Island and, well, possibly complete it. I don't know. Um, I've heard very, in the reviews, there's very mixed opinions on whether this game can actually be completed. Uh, a lot of people seem to be stuck on um, the Hawkins boss for a start. I say lots of people. Lots of people haven't played this game. Um Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess the jury's out. Guys, let me know your thoughts. This is... This is either something truly special and a unique moment in gaming history, or it's just an asset flip, which... Uh, the thing is, right, this game is uh, like £7, and that's on sale. So it's £6.80 at the moment, at the time of recording this. Uh, I don't, dude, just put this game out for like three quid, say three pound, right? 
people are buy it out of curiosity. I think it's non-sale price is like ten pounds. That that's a no from me. Um, maybe if you've got a group of people to play this with. But then if there's four of you and you've all got to buy the game at full price, that's like 40 quid. Realistically, is <laughs> that's probably not worth it. But if you can get four of you in on this game for a tenner, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think down below. And as always, till next time.